Ladies and gentlemen, I think we can start uh, uh, with this event. So welcome, uh, uh, welcome to this virtual technical seminar on fishery sector in Somalia. We are uh, very, very glad to, to be here today with you. So it's a pleasure for me to, to see most of the people I already met in Mogadishu. So a lot of friends, a lot of colleagues. Uh, because I think this is a, a first follow-up of the forum we had uh, uh, last December in Mogadishu. In that occasion, we, we deepen uh, several sectors, uh, construction, agro-industry, uh, fishery, energy. This morning, uh, this morning, we're speaking about fishery, because Italy has a long experience uh, in this sector, and I think that Italian companies uh, could add uh, value to the, to the fishery sector in, uh, in Somalia. It's a pleasure now to, to give the floor to ITPO Italy Director, uh, Ms. Diana Battaglia, uh, for the opening remarks. Diana, you have the floor, please. Thank you, Francesco. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is a great honor and pleasure for me to open this uh, technical seminar focused on the fishery sector in Somalia a challenging country for the whole international community. Uh, in particular, in uh, countries like Somalia, the access to suitable technologies become a necessary step for local entrepreneurs to expand their knowledge, market networks and businesses. At this purpose, the intervention of UNIDO in pursuing industry-related SDGs goal Especially, um, especially in innovation and infrastructure development, is strongly appreciated by local community and SMEs. In uh, this framework, Unido ITPO Italy acts as a honest broker in developing linkages between SMEs in developing countries and Italian ones. Above all, identify and mobilizing technical, financial, and managerial resources in order to achieve employment, economic competitiveness, and environmental protection. During the last year, our office has been supporting many SMEs in developing countries like Cuba, Mozambique, Lebanon, and Pakistan, among others, in uh, promoting investment opportunities in several sectors where Italy sets world standard of, back, of best practices, such agro-industry, food, textiles and clothing, leather and footwear, environment and renewable energies. This commitment is mainly based on promotion of industrial partnership of improvement of technological and qualitative standards or, and on capacity building to partner institutions. Now we have a new challenge to inspire the Italian business community to look at Somalia as a promising country for doing business. We are not alone in this mandate as we are operating the framework of the project Agro-Technology Development for Economic Growth in South and Central Somalia, founded by the Italian Agency in Development Cooperation and implemented by our friend and colleagues of UNIDO in Mogadishu. This morning, we have a new goal to achieve, to support the fishery industry in Somalia. With more than 3,000 kilometers of coastline, the country should have been in the forefront of fish exploitation in Africa. However, the lack of technology and investments risk to underexploit this enormous potential. At this purpose, we organized this technical seminar to provide a platform for the exchange of technical knowledge and expertise between Italian and Somali companies operating with the cold chain and fishery equipment industry in order to increase investment opportunities and the transfer of efficient best practices and technologies. Several Italian companies accepted our invitation, involved in alternative fishing models, advanced, uh, advanced, uh, advanced both 
uh, engine and efficient production and packaging of fishing nets, and as well as quality refrigeration in the frozen food industry and technological upgrade in fish processing, conservation and supply chain. The Italian business community can play a pivotal role in reconstruction process that will affect Somalia in the forthcoming years, uh, especially through the network of uh, uh, SMEs. As you know, as you know the, the role of SMEs and the private sector in general is crucial for economic growth. Moreover, SMEs play a significant in achieving the SDGs and can contribute to solve some of the core issue for the 2030 agenda. And they make up more than 90 of all businesses worldwide. My office is strongly committed in sensitizing the stakeholders. We daily meet in the SDGs achievement and I'm really proud of, of, of that. I'm, I'm sure that this event will provide an overview of opportunities offered by Somalia, as well as the enormous potential offered by the cutting edge technologies existing in, it, in Italy. All companies will have the possibility to approach this challenging country under the UNIDO umbrella, a unique opportunity impossible to miss. I wish all of you a successful event. Thank you for your attention and have a nice work. Thank you. Thank you, Diana. Thank you for this interesting uh, opening. Let me only add the, the, the real uh, interest of ITPO Italy in the fishery sector because uh, we implemented also another project in the, in the past in Western Africa, in uh, Senegal, uh, Mauritania, Ivory Coast, uh, and Guinea. And, uh, we, we supported several partnerships between companies from West Africa and Italy. So we are strongly committed, as you told before, in, the, in this sector. Now I'm glad to give the floor to uh, my friend and my colleague uh, in Mogadishu, the officer in charge uh, of uh, UNIDO representative in Mogadishu, uh, Igor. Uh, we, 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 most of you uh, know Igor, uh, probably you met in, uh, in Italy or in Mogadishu in, uh, in past events. Uh, but now he can, uh, he can explain the activity of UNIDO in, uh, in Somalia. Thank you, Igor, you have the floor. Thank you, Francesco, and uh, thank you all the team in ITPO. Thank you, Diana, for uh, facilitating this event. Really much appreciated. And uh, thank you all from uh, the Italian private sector, but also the colleagues and the team in Somalia uh, and the Chamber of Commerce in Industry that uh, has uh, basically pulled together um, an interesting team, interesting group of companies that uh, are basically uh, looking for opportunities with the Italian private sector. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is really my privilege to uh, welcome you all to this very first technical seminar, precisely designed to support investment opportunities and businesses partnership in the fishery sector and the cold chain subsector for Somalia. This event, as we said, builds on the positive outcome of the Italy-Somalia Business Forum that was held in December, on the 10th and 11th of December in Mogadishu, uh, together with the support of our partners, the Italian Cooperation, the Italian Embassy in Mogadishu, as well as uh, uh, the cooperation, of course, the Minister of Commerce and Industry and the Somali Chamber of Commerce. At that time, uh, Italian co companies traveled to Mogadishu to meet some uh, around 200 enthusiastic and very dynamic Somali businesses that uh, they were all attempting, and in, I would say, uh, with rightly so, to show different picture of Somalia, a different Somalia that is ready to do business, that is there to welcome also Italian companies that were there before and would like to come back. Um, since December, we need an operation in Somalia uh, has grown even stronger. Uh, at the moment, we have established a network of three enterprise development units, soon to be four actually, uh, hosted by the Somali Chamber of Commerce and Industry in Mogadishu, Kisimai and Baidoa. And the fourth one will be established in Belatuen over the next two or three months. We are working on that. And ideally, uh, this network should establish national-wide over the next few months as well. 
The EU network is the core, uh, is the core of UNID operations in Somalia. And uh, uh, through this network, uh, critical assistance is provided to the private sector through business training, business counseling, business support to business planning and financial feasibility analysis, as well as the event like today related to investment promotion, so establishing linkages between Somali companies and uh, um, foreign companies, in particular, in this case, Italian companies. Also, uh, the EDUs are a, a hub for supporting the access to finance. It's, it's, a, it's actually a news of only a couple of days ago that UNIDO and the uh, International Bank of Somalia, IBS, has signed a contract for IBS to manage a one, one million euro credit facility that uh, will uh, offer Somali SME lending products to um, support project in the investment in project like this one. That the one that probably will be discussed today. Now, despite the challenges uh, we are facing with, uh, of course, in the, over the past few months, the travel restriction, the requirement for social distancing, the impact on operation and this disruption on supply chain. That's why we are here today. This is a little bit of a pilot, it's an experiment that we are doing. We were hoping to have this meeting face to face. Unfortunately, this was not possible. This is not, not going to be possible probably for the foreseeable future. We hope that at the beginning of 2021, things will change and we'll be able to meet again as uh, we wanted. We were also planning a dedicated forum uh, in Mogadishu in the area of the fishery sector. This probably will be need to wait until a better time and until it's safe to, from a health perspective this time, to travel. Um, in a way though, uh, this is a little bit our response to the COVID. It's a resilient response, it's an innovative response. It's also an um, expression of courage from everybody to, be, to, to put our face here and trying to move forward despite what is going on. Mr. Battaglia said it right. Uh, um, this is a very, uh, in Somalia, the access to sustainable technology become a necessary step for local entrepreneurs to expand their knowledge uh, and uh, establish market networks. Support to the fishery industry uh, for Somalia is addressing a specific technology gap uh, that, uh, as at the moment, has been underexploited, that could really become a, a major driver for economic growth. The future development of Somalia can only happen if it also its domestic SME sector is able to become a catalytic, catalytic point of view, point, starting point for investment, technology upgrade, but also a driver for industrialization. The Somalia today is, battle, is very much battling need. Thank you so for being here today. We hope this is the beginning of uh, a series of, uh, of, of other uh, sectoral, sectoral seminar like this one. And uh, the team is at available at a full disposal also to facilitate this process going forward. After today in the morning, there will be opportunity to have follow-up meetings in the afternoon and the day to come. Uh, please consider the team available for that. And uh, thank you again for attending. Thank Grazie you. mille a tutti quanti. Grazie Igor, thank you Igor for the, uh, this opening. Uh, you're right, this is only a first experience. Uh, probably we will organize other seminars, uh, physical seminar on fishery in the, in the forthcoming months. We don't know uh, when, but uh, probably in 2021, we, we will see. Okay, now uh, I give the floor to, uh, to my colleague uh, Najib in Mogadishu for a, a brief overview of the fishery sector in Somalia and for the presentation of the, of the Somali delegation. Najib, you have the floor. Thank you, Francesco. Thank you uh, for your remarks. Um, uh, distinguished partners, participants, ladies and gentlemen, Salam alaikum, buongiorno. Um, in view of Somalia's progress in uh, recent years towards development and vibrant, stable country, with country's economy outperforming the average of the sub-Saharan African zone, growing at average of 4% per year, signals the right moment for, the, for promoting the country as a business destination. In this, cause, in this context, and the need to develop one of the most important sectors in Somalia's economy, 
UNIDO, ITPO, Italy, and Somalia in collaboration with the government of Somalia, specifically the Ministry of Commerce and Industry, organized this technical seminar aiming to provide a platform for technical uh, knowledge, technology, and expertise exchange in order to promote investment opportunities between Somalis and Italians. As we know, the Italians and the Somalis had a long uh, uh, standing relationship whereby uh, Somali uh, goods has been exported to Italy and also uh, technology and, uh, and other goods has been exported, imported into Somalia, produced in, in Italy. If, if I mention, for instance, there are, for instance, trucks, old trucks that still are functioning in Somalia, which kind of also indicates the quality of Italian uh, production, but also the strong relationship that exists between Somalia and Italy. This technical uh, seminar is part of the project Agrotechnology Development for Economic Growth in South and Central Somalia, funded by the Italian Agency for Development Cooperation and implemented by UNIDO, uh, led by Mr. Igor Scarcia. As we are all aware, Somalia has the longest or, or the second long, longest coastline in Africa, extending 3,330 kilometer, kilometers, home to commercial marine species such as tuna, uh, mackerels, mullets, uh, shrimps, lobster, crabs, and many more. Sorry, Najib, to interrupt, sorry, Najib, to interrupt you, but some Italian companies are asking me the translation. It, okay. So uh, I asked to Professor Sis the, to, to support us in the, in the translation, um, starting from now and, uh, and also later with the, with the presentation. Okay, go ahead. Should I wait a little bit? Yeah, Professor oh, Sis, would you like to, to translate these, uh, these first sentences? Go. Yeah, thank you. Sis, 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 go. Najib, do you do concepts and I will do, inshallah, translate them. Go. No, no, go ahead for where you are. Okay, yeah. Is that fine, Mr. Palaco? Sì, sì, alla fine, quindi traduciamo in italiano alla fine della, della, dell'intervento. Okay. I'll go ahead. Okay. Uh, uh, as we are all aware, Somalia has the longest second, or the second longest coastline in Africa, extending 3,300 kilometer miles. Um, which is home to commercial marine species such as tuna, shrimps, lobster, and uh, many more. Uh, according to FAO, Somalia fish stock is one of the most un underfished stocks in Somalia, which kind of uh, proves that, um, that there is lack of development and, uh, and also according to several reports that highlighted that Somalia's uh, fishing uh, techniques are kind of uh, old school and outdated. So, um, which kind of uh, comes, brings us to this moment for organizing this seminar to kind of uh, have this technology um, ex exchange. Today we have Somali fishery companies who are, uh, most of them are producers, some processors and some also who package fish and export to uh, neighboring countries such as Yemen uh, and, and United mm -hmm. Arab Emirates and, and others. Uh, we also have um, suppliers of engines uh, and, and other uh, wholesalers who kind of a function within the country and who uh, deliver uh, fish uh, to several districts within the, within the country. Um, uh, with that in mind, I would like to uh, welcome all the Italian companies and to emphasize that this is an important opportunity for, for the Somali and Italian companies. Um, lastly, I would like to thank um, ITPO Italy and Somalia. Uh, in particular, I would like to thank Mr. Francesco and, and Diana for organizing this uh, seminar and, uh, and I welcome all of you. Thank you uh, very much. Thank you, thank you. I think I'll take floor now, Mr. Francesco. Sì, sì, prego, prego. Grazie. Eh, buongiorno a tutti. Eh, cercherò di fare un sommario di, da, dalla signora Pataccia. 
eh, signor Scratch, eh, Najib. Cominciamo da, da, dalla signora Pataccia che ha parlato dell'importanza del marketing of the, uh, della marine risorsa, ha parlato dell'assenza della tecnica e finanza della, da parte nostra della Somalia e che hanno anche eh, aiutato diversi eh, paesi del, del mondo, del terzo mondo, e ha parlato, sottolineato l'importanza di questo coniugazione o riunione dell'Italia dell e la Somalia i diversi eh, companies e ha parlato dell'importanza che, eh, che è stata proprio cominciata dall'organizzazione da, 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 da di questo agrotecnologico dell'UNID che è stato fondato dall'ufficio di sviluppo dell'Italia e la, la e l'ambasciata italiana in Somalia, qui in Somalia. E ha sottolineato anche l'assenza la, tecnica finanziaria e investimento di queste eh, risorse somale, che è proprio quello che sarà nel, nel, nel futuro la più grande, che è stata tradizionalmente non è stata sfruttata perché la cultura somale, che non è così tanto riguardante del mare, e ha concluso che questo sarà delle SMIs della del settore privato che è molto utile da cominciare che sarà poi rosso investimento, investimento di questo settore. Poi il signor Scratch ha parlato di questa opportunità che è molto eh, importante delle due parti della Somalia e dell'Italia ha ricattato della, quando abbiamo fatto del, il, il Fiere che è stato successo fine dell'altro eh, anno, del 19, che hanno partecipato coraggiosi italiani e 200 eh, commercianti somali che riguardavano di questo agrotecnico in, in totale della livestock e agricoltura e della pescheria e hanno donato un milione di euro della Somalia di questo investimento e ha parlato che è stata è stato intervenuta la, la Covid-19 che è stato proprio fatto di questo So we can go ahead now with the presentation of the Italian technologies starting from the, the main association uh, in Italy belonging to Confindustria uh, Feder Pesca Peter Pesca will speak about investment outlook in the blue economy in uh, developing countries, uh, uh, namely, obviously, in, uh, in Somalia. So I ask to uh, Federico Gallas to have the floor. Hello, I don't know if you can hear me. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you good morning to everyone. <laughs> I, I'm very glad to, to, to be here with you, actually. I'm in, uh, in Manfredonia, which is in the, the south of Italy in one of the biggest uh, aqua, marine aquaculture uh, plant, which is, uh, which is uh, actually owned by um, a family which is uh, doing aquaculture since uh, many years. So let me, let me uh, thank um, on behalf of uh, Luigi Giannini, which is the president of Feder Pesca, uh, Unido, uh, namely the, the people who are organizing the, the, the meeting, and um, I'm really happy to be here uh, after the meeting we had in, in Mogadishu in, uh, in December 2019. Uh, when we came back from, uh, from Mogadishu, actually, we uh, met several uh, potential investors in, in the fishing sector and talked uh, with them about the opportunity to, to invest in Somalia. Uh, as you know, th there is a, a, a huge interest of the Italian, um, of the Italian um, fishermen, uh, and not only fishermen, to, to invest in, uh, in, in blue economy, uh, especially in Somalia. And we, uh, as you know, we are working with um, uh, IORA, uh, which is the, the Indian Ocean Rim Association, to foster um, uh, something, uh, uh, let me say, an association 
of fishermen in uh, in Somalia uh, a bit like uh, like um, Federpesca. So we are working on that. Uh, as uh, Igor uh, said, unfortunately, uh, we we are a bit on on standby to uh, due to the to the COVID-19 uh, situation. Uh, but we are uh, willing to 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 go further and to to work on it in uh, uh, as soon as the, the the condition will be will be uh, will will be uh, we will be able to 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 go ahead go ahead and and uh, come back to to Somalia. Uh, so uh, as you uh, while. Talking to the with, with the, the the Italian fishermen, actually uh, there is, as I said, a, a huge interest. But uh, some uh, some things are probably uh, probably need to change. Uh, mainly uh, the the um, the situation of the, the the agreements between the European Union and uh, and Somalia. As you, as you know, for the European uh, potential investor in blue economy in Somalia, really the big issue is, is the lack of uh, an agreement, um, wh which makes it difficult to, to import and sell the fish and the fishing products uh, within the, uh, the European Union directly. Uh, so, uh, as you know, the, the European Union has already concluded uh, this kind of agreements with about 15 uh, European countries. Uh, I think uh, Francesco named a couple of them, so Senegal for sure and some, some others. Uh, and th these agreements allow uh, the European vessels to fish in the EEZ uh, covered by the agreement. Uh, and of course, the, 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 this right is counterbalanced by a financial contribution, contributions that includes the support for the development of fishing for the local fishermen. Uh, as I mentioned, Federpiska is working actively uh, to put together so many fishermen, uh, thanks to Ayora, uh, but actually it, it, to to really make it possible to for the fishermen to to invest in Somalia. Uh, probably, the, we are, let me say we urge the, the uh, so the, the Somali government, the EU, and the other stakeholder uh, like. Unido, for instance, to um, foster this kind of uh, agreement in order to, to help the, the, the Italian and the European fishermen in general to, to come to Somalia and to, to work in, uh, in Somalia. Of course, we are ready to, to do our part and, and that's what we are working. We would, we would like to, to work for in, in the next month, in, in the next years, in order to, to help the fishermen to, to, to come to Somalia and to invest in Somalia. Thank you, Federico. Thank you for this presentation. So I don't know if Mr. Professor Sisse um, is, uh, is online because uh, and now we should give the floor to uh, Mr. Veneziano, but Mr. Veneziano, he needs the translation, I think. So, because he told me that he will speak. Yes. Mr. Veneziano. Yes, I am. Yes, you are speaking in English or in Italian? I speak in Italian, but my presentation is in English, so everybody can follow it. Okay, okay. So you can, you can go because I don't know if a professor is online, but uh, you can go and everyone can can uh, see the slides in English, so no problem. You have the okay. first. Okay, thank you, Mr. Perlocca. I'm Mr. Veneziano, CEO of Consorzio Pescato Procidano. Just to introduce myself, I go to presentation. Everybody see it? Yeah, we can see it. Okay. So now we start in Italian because uh, uh, my presentation is in English and everybody can read it. Yes, but Mr. Veneziano, your English is perfect. Eh? You can speak in no, English. No, no, Mr. Perloca, I have many, many years that I don't speak English. So my English is very really rust. And uh, at the moment I cannot uh, uh, give you the best perform, uh, performance of my English. So, <laughs> if you consent, I uh, continue in Italian. Okay, please, please, no problem. Okay. 
Allora presentiamo differenti modi di pesca che attuiamo qua in Italia. Raggruppiamo almeno i tre principali in modo che eh, questi sono, come dire, di presentazione ma non sono esaustivi perché ci sono altri modi di, di pescare. Innanzitutto diciamo chi siamo. Questa è una parte dell'isola dove viviamo, una piccola isola del Golfo di Napoli. Il Consorzio Procidano è un'organizzazione di pescatori che è da generazioni, con una flotta di 15 barche per un totale di 600 gross tonnage, 5 barche per lo strascico, 7 per la circuizione e 3 per il tremaglio e abbiamo in attivo circa 100 dipendenti. Adesso andiamo nel, diciamo, nel cuore della, della presentazione a eh, presentare i vari tipi di pesca. Partiamo dalla pesca strascico. Questo è un peschereccio adibito alla pesca strascico, uno dei nostri. Allora, la pesca strascico eh, è formata da una rete che, come potete vedere, trainata da un peschereccio con due divergenti, una parte alta per evitare che, eh, con i galleggianti, per evitare che i pesci possano scappare da sopra, una parte bassa che aderisce al fondo con catene e o altri strumenti per andare sul fondo ma senza distruggerlo più di tanto e un sacco dove poi vanno a finire i pesci. Che cosa c'è bisogno per fare della pesca strascica? Una rete attrezzata in merito, dei divergenti, un un peschereccio o in certi casi possono pescare pure in coppia, è una strumentazione atta a capire se in quel momento stiamo pescando bene. Poi come strumentazione a bordo, come hardware, diciamo così, abbiamo bisogno dei vercelli, sia per tirare i cavi di acciaio che mantengono i divergenti aperti, sia poi per tirare le reti. Le operazioni di pesca, praticamente come ho già accennato prima, ehm, questa è una rete che raschia sul fondo, ecco perché è chiamata pesca a strascico. E raschiando sul fondo prende tutta una serie di pesci che adesso andiamo a vedere. Ecco che sono specie demossiali, parliamo di seppie, polipi, triglie, gamberi e merluzzi. Se avete domande da fare io mi fermo un attimo così siamo interattivi. Se sono stato troppo veloce ditemelo, se avete bisogno di ulteriori spiegazioni mi fermo. Allora, per le domande aspettiamo la, 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 la fase finale del, okay. della, della session. Quindi... Allora continuo? Sì, prego, prego. Bene, passiamo a un altro tipo di pesca, la pesca a circuizione. La pesca a circuizione è fatta da una rete tipo un muro molto lunga che viene eh, gettata in acqua con l'ausilio di una piccola barchetta da un lato, poi si tende questa rete a cerchio, si raggiunge la barca e con un cavo che passa sotto la rete, la parte bassa, quella più pesante, dove ci sono degli anelli, passa un cavo d'acciaio per chiuderla praticamente per rimanere il pesce intrappolato dentro. Ecco, questa è un'immagine, qua c'è la barca, questa è la rete, la parte sotto, come potete vedere, è circondata di anelli dove un cavo d'acciaio la stringe e intrappola il pesce, in questo senso. Queste sono due immagini che spiegano un attimino come funziona una rete a circuizione. Per la strumentazione noi abbiamo bisogno di un vericello per tirare il cavo d'acciaio che stringe la rete, una barca di ausilio che funziona da lampara, che è un termine per definire una barca con delle luci che attira il pesce, questa in fase prioritaria, una volta che il pesce è stato attirato lo monitoriamo con un ecoscondaglio e dopo lo circuitiamo, nel senso che gli mettiamo la rete intorno, la chiudiamo sotto e intrappoliamo i pesci. Questi sono due, due nostri pescherecci per farvi vedere come sono e come sono attrezzati. Le operazioni di pesca, come vi ho detto, le ho descritte brevemente. Per farla abbiamo bisogno quindi di un peschereccio attrezzato con vericelli, cavi d'acciaio, rete, una barca ausiliare che funziona da attrattore luminoso, un sonar e anche un ecostandario.
Questi sono i tipi di pesce che alcuni dei tipi che possono essere pescati con una pesca a circuizione, parliamo di prevalentemente pesce azzurro, quindi tonno, acciughe, sardine e tutto quanto il pesce azzurro. Passiamo a un altro sistema di pesca, rete a tremaglio, che è una rete composta da una parte interna e due parti esterne con maglie più ampie. Si posiziona o sul fondo o si può, mm, ci possono essere delle reti a tremaglio anche derivanti. Come funziona questa rete? Praticamente il pezzo centrale della rete è molto più ampio di quelli esterni. Il pesce andando verso la rete praticamente ne resta intrappolato in questo senso, in questa immagine alla destra. Il pesce entra formando una cavità, poi si avvolge su se stesso e praticamente rimane intrappolato senza avere danni alla sua struttura esterna. Questo è un vericello per le reti a tre maglie e questa è una foto di quello che si sta pescando con il tre maglie. Ecco i vari tipi che possono essere eh, galleggianti a mezz'acqua o sul fondo, a seconda del tipo di pesce che si vuole catturare. Prego. No, no, prego, vado avanti, vado avanti. Allora, questi sono alcuni pesci, pesci che si pescano con il tremaglio. Parliamo di aragoste, granchi, seppie, pesce pagello, rombo e salpa. Alcune specie demersiali. Finito. Se avete domande, se le facciamo dopo, ditemi e sono a disposizione. Ok, thank you, thank you Mr. Veneziano. Very, very interesting the presentation. The questions uh, will be held, uh, will be held um, at the Q&A session, so at the end of the seminar. Okay, now um, I would like to give the floor to uh, Mr. Roberto Manai, but I don't know if we have uh, online the translator. So I think we can wait. Mr. Roberto, I think we can wait the, the, the comeback of the translator. Uh, and uh, we, we can give the floor to uh, Mr. Laviola, because I think Mr. Laviola will speak in English. So, um, Mr. Laviola, you have the floor, please. Okay, uh, thank you, everybody. I want to especially thank, um, warmly thank you, Mr. Pallocca and Mrs. Battaglia for inviting us. Uh, to this uh, online event, uh, we share uh, my presentation. Uh, can you see my my video, my screen? Yes. Okay. Um, okay. I am Domenico Laviola, and I am the export manager of uh, AS Labruna. Uh, AS Labruna uh, is uh, basically a company uh, which is a part of uh, FPT, uh, Iveco Motors Group. Um, we are uh, a company specialized in three business units. We are located in the Apulian region, Monopoly, which is uh, uh, approximately 35 uh, kilometers away from Bari. So we are located in a strategic position to work with all Mediterranean countries. Uh, in, in, uh, indeed, uh, we are working uh, afterwards, I will show you uh, shortly the map where we are present, uh, directly with local partners in all the North African um, area, uh, ranging from Morocco uh, to Egypt, so Morocco, Tunisia, Algeria, Libya, and uh, Egypt, and all the Balkans. So from the North African areas uh, uh, where we have some local authorized partners, we are also able to uh, work with other African uh, countries. Uh, as you can see from uh, the slides, uh, from the slide here, we are specialized in three business units, uh, as I was explaining, um, Marine, which uh, is uh, one of the mo most important business units for us since the um, establishment of the company, uh, which was done in 1971. So Marine section means that we can, we have the production and the distribution of uh, marine diesel engines, marine power generators, marine cranes for different kinds of boats, and propulsion system, systems also combined with uh, hybrid uh, systems. 
After that, we also have another business unit, uh, which, uh, is, um, which is focused on power generation for industrial applications. So, generators for uh, agriculture, for uh, uh, industrial, for uh, hospitals, for several applications uh, in prime emergency uh, requirements. And finally, we also have uh, a loading business unit. Uh, this means especially industrial cranes uh, for and aerial platforms, industrial cranes for several types of uh, trucks. So uh, in this um, uh, field, uh, we are we have, as you will see, uh, several uh, lines in our um, production of marine engines. Especially, we are, uh, as I was explaining, part of FPT, FPT group, uh, which is the known, especially in the shipyards, which I have visited in North Africa, is known with the old name uh, Iveco Motors or IFO. Uh, but uh, in, in many, many shipyards, I have seen uh, these uh, many fishermen are still using them because uh, uh, it has a long tradition of uh, penetration in those areas. And as you can see, uh, due to some joint ventures and agreements uh, that you probably followed on the press, uh, now the name is, the new name of the group uh, is FPT, Fiat Powertrain. Uh, as you know, F, uh, Fiat now has become FCA for the automotive application. The other applications, uh, which are not automotive, are in CNH. And FPT is uh, our company specialized in designing and producing uh, all types of diesel engines. Uh, so we are, um, since the production is concentrated in Torino and uh, Milano, Pregnana Milanese, for the uh, distribution in the Mediterranean area, we are in charge because I was, as, I, as I was explaining, we are located also in the uh, Apulian region. So it's uh, strategic for uh, doing the training, for doing the, the commercial distribution, the assistance and uh, all aspects related to this uh, activity. Uh, then we also have uh, relationships with the smaller engines producers like Vueme Motori and for the cranes Bonfiglioli and Effer. Uh, as I was uh, explaining, we are, of course, we are certified ISO um, and, uh, since 1994 and uh, we always have uh, um, some uh, technical uh, staff who is able to reach uh, the, our partners wherever needed, also uh, in uh, uh, foreign countries. In, uh, we have one partner in Malta as flying doctor that can reach the, the client or the partner in less than 24 hours, uh, or uh, we can plan some uh, assistance for the first installation, the engines sometimes, or we train the local partners to be autonomous. So this is an aspect which I want to underline because we have already one ex this experience in Egypt uh, with Suez Canal, uh, in, uh, in Morocco, in Agadir, uh, in Tunisia, uh, close to Sfax, uh, in Algeria, where we also uh, have partners and we, we, we have business going on. So we can do this also for, we would like to, to put this expertise uh, at, at your disposal to start some uh, possible uh, cooperation with the uh, Somali, uh, so, Somalian uh, companies. Uh, as you um, uh, will see, we have also uh, one technical and engineering department inside. So if there is a shipyard or a client uh, who needs some assistance also from the, uh, project uh, uh, management, so from the uh, engineering and technical point of view, we can uh, uh, also to choose the right propeller, the right shaft, uh, coupled with the engine, we can uh, give you uh, some assistance on this aspect too. Uh, basically, uh, Isla Bruna, our company, has the possibility of providing all types of marine engines for both applications, commercial and pleasure. So commercial means for fishing, all types of fishing, well, trawlers, 
uh, as Mr. Veneziano was uh, correctly explaining, the side trawlers, these poor sustainers, uh, also for smaller boats, uh, because we work, for example, last week I was in Albania meeting some partners who do uh, some artisanal fishing and they have uh, uh, some um, uh, like artisanal techniques uh, with smaller boats like seven or eight meters. We have the possibility of uh, supporting them with uh, some customized uh, uh, sizes of power output. So commercial means also transport of passengers, uh, all types of fishing, trawlers in the ports, uh, service boats, uh, and all types of uh, activity, uh, re not related to pleasure, of course. Uh, for the smaller uh, uh, boats or for the um, uh, fishing activity in particular, we produce uh, in Monopoly, in our factory here, uh, a specific line of marine engines for smaller power output, always using FPT Iveco base engine. So as you can see, uh, the, the, the smallest uh, engine for this type of application is uh, around 60 horsepower and goes up to 300 horsepower. This is very good uh, also for uh, countries which prefer to have more engines, marine engines with mechanical injection, uh, because we know, according to our experience, that uh, in uh, some uh, areas in Africa, it is still uh, important for the partners to have mechanical injection and not electronic uh, injection. But uh, uh, in Morocco, we are installing also uh, marine engines with uh, electronic injections because of course, this will be the future, and uh, we are uh, all already uh, supporting our partner with training uh, to uh, let them use uh, these marine engines also with electronic injection. Um, for, uh, as far as uh, FPT Iveco uh, marine engines is, uh, are concerned, we have uh, bigger ranges. Uh, starting from 100 horsepower up to 1,000 horsepower. And especially for uh, trawlers, uh, we can provide 500 horsepower or uh, 600 horsepower. For, of course, uh, we always uh, give all the technical assistance needed, as explained, uh, including the first installation uh, assistance. VM Motori is uh, the, 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 the selection for smaller engines, like 30 or 40 horsepower, uh, to complete the range. And, uh, okay, uh, as, far as, uh, as far as our uh, company, uh, the, the plus, the key advantages of our company are summarized uh, in this slide because we are uh, constantly trying to provide uh, uh, low emissions uh, in our marine engines, so to uh, fight uh, pollution as much as possible. They comply with the strictest uh, uh, legislation uh, in the field. Then we are uh, uh, basically uh, also using uh, uh, some uh, uh, engines to guarantee and provide the lower fuel consumption because we know very well that this is uh, uh, very key, a crucial factor for, uh, especially for fishing, and the longer maintenance uh, interval uh, between uh, uh, operations and also for the overall. Uh, you will see, we'll try always, uh, uh, we are able, we are willing to provide the, the Somalian partners with technical sheets to understand uh, all the technical values if they have some uh, technical partners they can, uh, uh, we are more than willing to provide them uh, with some technical sheets to uh, check and examine uh, all the data about performance, uh, uh, actness, uh, lightness of the engines uh, in autonomy. Uh, another important uh, offer in our range uh, is uh, um, focused on the marine power generators. So on the boats, uh, we, pro we provide the marine genset uh, from 40 kVA to up, up to 250, 280 uh, kilovolt ampere, uh, especially for the marine sector. So all, always with the FPT Iveco base engine. 
and also this, uh, there are two types, some produced in Torino and uh, uh, smaller uh, sizes also produced here in Monopoly. Uh, finally, uh, Hydropack, uh, which is uh, a propulsion system with hybrid uh, integrated solution that we presented in Amsterdam uh, last year at Medstrade, uh, one of the most important international exhibitions for the marine uh, sector, uh, which gives the possibility of having a propulsion diesel engine for the boat plus a generator uh, device for uh, giving power supply to all the fishing gears on board. So at the same time, uh, when the boat is working, and is uh, having the propulsion, it is at the same time uh, generating electricity and power for the fishing uh, equipment. Okay, uh, finally, I just go a little bit faster on this because this is more for power generators for industrial application. Uh, so just to let you know, that uh, this is uh, more focused on industrial uh, applications for power gen sets. Also here we go from 20 kilovolt ampere up to 600 and 1000 kilovolt ampere. Just in case of need to, uh, you know, that our company also includes this in, uh, these applications and these solutions uh, in this range. Our mobile stations, our plans for bigger uh, power generation uh, requirements services as we were discussing before uh, with our network of the mediterranean north african and balkan areas one time per year we do a general meeting in italy we invite all the partners technical and commercial to join us for a, a free uh, updating a training course that we do with our uh, engineers so uh, Basically, this year, of course, for the sanitary situation of COVID, it, it has not been possible to do it uh, physically, but we did it online, just because for us it is very, very important to keep, not only to provide one product, but to give uh, a, a levels of expertise and levels of autonomy uh, to our, all our clients and partners in, in each, uh, in each uh, country of uh, Africa or Mediterranean area where we work. Finally, you, as you can see, we have the loading uh, business unit, all types of uh, cranes for uh, uh, trucks that can also be provided in the marine application. So produce also here in Monopoly, the industrial uh, crane, which is adapted and, uh, and uh, produced also for the marine applications for boats. Also here, as you can see, different types of applications, real platforms and the engineering uh, um, uh, business unit that uh, I was mentioning before to start helping you from the beginning. If there is a need, in the design phase, you have uh, your uh, project, your shipyard as a project, we can give a hand and we can uh, support you also with some uh, uh, technical uh, suggestions, advice uh, to see what is uh, the best uh, solution according to your boat, to your application, to your type of work. Uh, Mr. Laviola. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you so much for this presentation for this overview of the engines you, you produce. Uh, so very, Thank very you. Thank you. Yes, I think um, uh, Professor Sise is back. So um, I can uh, give the floor to Mr. Roberto Manai from the Consortium Sviluppo Itico Toscano from Tuscany region for the presentation of the consortia and uh, all the, the products they, they deal with. Mr. Roberto, you have the floor. Grazie. Eh, scusate, ma il mio inglese non è, eh, diciamo così, compatibile per, per, una, per una presentazione articolata in questi termini. Noi eh, come consorzio, come centro di sviluppo ITIO Toscano, eh, diciamo che eh, rappresentiamo quella che è l'attività della pesca professionale svolta eh, in Toscana. Eh, sono circa 480 km di costa, Uh, nei quali operano con attività che non starò qui a, a specificare perché Antonio ha già illustrato molto bene le tipologie di pesca che sviluppiamo noi 
noi intendo dire nel, nel Mar Mediterraneo, abbiamo circa 32 imbarcazioni da 34 metri circa l'una con la quale svolgiamo l'attività di pesca a circuizione, quella che abbiamo sentito uh, uh, illustrare prima, è una pesca che eh, si, 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 si svolge sul pesce azzurro in prevalenza. Produciamo circa 6.000 tonnellate di prodotto all'anno e è un prodotto di prima qualità che viene di solito esportato nei paesi europei. Poi abbiamo... Scusi se la interrompo, volevo verificare se il professor Sis vuole tradurre alla fine o, o diciamo di frase per frase. Yes, thank you. Cercherò thank you. di seguire. Faccio quindi... Faccio quindi delle... Fa parlare così e io interrompo. Ok, prego, prego. Mister Manai, prego, continui. Allora, come dicevamo, eh, il nostro consorzio copre eh, tutta l'area della fascia toscana ah, uh, e, e, e gestisce indirettamente attraverso l'organizzazione 32 imbarcazioni che effettuano l'attività della circuizione circa 110 imbarcazioni che effettuano l'attività dello strascico che hanno una lunghezza dai 15 ai 26 metri e oltre 640 imbarcazioni che effettuano l'attività della piccola pesca. Sono imbarcazioni che hanno una lunghezza dai 6 ai 15 metri. Quindi diciamo sì, una realtà più sociale... Posso Oh, sì, sì, prego, prego, prego. Non, sì. Non, posso, non posso praticamente sentire propriamente. Mi dispiace molto, non posso sentire proprio. Mm. Ok, allora... Una delle interruzioni eh, che non posso. Facciamo, allora, scusa Francesco, se mi permetti, sì. facciamo una cosa. Io o, o ti invierò una nota. Sì, bravo, no, esatto. Mi invio una nota, farlo. la traduciamo e la mandiamo poi alle aziende somale oggi pomeriggio. Dai, facciamo così. Perfetto, grazie. Ok, grazie. Let's go ahead. I give the floor now to uh, Mr. Gianfranco Spaletra from Mediterranean Reti. He will be speaking about the production and packaging of fishing nets. Mr. Spaletra, you have the floor. Um, please try to speak in English. Uh, otherwise, we can ask the support of Mr. Abdikadir Ginni. Sì, buongiorno a tutti. You are muted. Se lei, lei è muto, Spaletra, deve accendere il microfono. Buongiorno a tutti, mi sentite? Sì, sì, bene. Ok, eh, sono ingegnere Spaletra della Mediterranea Reti. Eh, Anch'io ho il problema della lingua, pensavo di avere a disposizione un traduttore. Eh, sì, ma ho... ce l'abbiamo, ce l'abbiamo. Okay, è arrivato, arrivato Najib, could you please uh, ask the support of Mr. Ginni? Ok. Vi ringrazio. Eh, alcune slide della mia presentazione hanno anche alcune righe in inglese che ci permetteranno magari di essere utili per far comprendere meglio a tutti. Allora, io inizio con la presentazione e condivido con voi eh, il mio schermo. schermo sì. Allora, questo è in inglese, quindi possiamo fare come, come prima. Sì, Può diciamo... Parlare in italiano è la presentazione in inglese, così leggono tutti in inglese. Sì, Dai, ci sarà... sì, sì, diciamo che indicativamente ci sono alcune descrizioni in inglese. Perfetto. Allora, ehm, descrivo la Mediterranea Reti, è una società che produce reti da pesca ormai da tre generazioni. Eh, colgo l'occasione per ringraziare il consorzio di, Pro... di Procida che ha fatto la descrizione delle tipologie di pesca molto dettagliata e riconosco competenza e sono tutte informazioni molto utili anche per la mia descrizione. Eh, allora, la Mediterranea Reti produce ogni tipo di rete ehm, utile ehm, per le varie tipologie di pesche che sono state già illustrate, eh, quindi parliamo de della cianciola, eh, della pelagica, della semipelagica, e anche per la pesca... Come? Devo interrompere? No, no, prego, prego, vado avanti. Prego. Okay. 
Ehm, quindi diciamo avete sotto illustrate alcune delle nostre reti che noi produciamo, ma siamo a disposizione per la fornitura di ogni tipologia di rete. La Mediterranea Reti ha, ha una certificazione per il sistema di qualità, eh, quindi diciamo che ogni prodotto che noi eh, consegniamo è di alta qualità e professionale eh, grazie, grazie a dei macchinari che hanno un controllo automatico e che quindi controllano sin, sin dal filo elementare eh, la formazione de, de la, della singola rete eh, offrendo un prodotto di qualità e duraturo nel tempo eh, questa è diciamo, la vista dall'alto della nostra società eh, adesso lancerò un video dove ci sono diverse fasi di lavorazioni e ve le... Buongiorno. Buongiorno, ve le illustrerò durante la visione del, del video sì, dura, Durante la visione del video, visto che non c'è lo scritto, magari mister eh, Ginni può aiutarci nel tradurre quello che lei dirà in italiano Ok, questo è... okay grazie Posso allora. tradurre? Grazie sì, tradu Adesso traduce la parte del video quando... okay. Diciamo che quello che state visualizzando è il reparto di torcitura, quindi il filo elementare eh, viene binato eh, per ottenere il titolo desiderato che poi verrà utilizzato per la produzione della rete. Prego, può tradurre, Mr. Ginni? You are muted. Prego. Ok. Questo è il reparto di tessitura della rete con nodo e doppio nodo. Il processo produttivo è controllato elettronicamente, quindi ogni rottura del singolo filo interrompe il processo produttivo impedendo delle smagliature. La rete con nodo o doppio nodo può essere prodotta con filo ritorto o con la treccia, a seconda della richiesta del cliente. E eh, questo è il problema che io devo dire anche, tradurre in somalo, eh, spiegare la treccia, eccetera, però me lo puoi, <ride> me lo puoi semplificare. Questa è la treccia. Questa invece è la tortiglia. Ah, ok. Sarà, dovrò, dovrei, dovrei spiegare il figurativo. Comunque, la hawa è filoica, meno a tahana, o ascolta tanta hai, meno è che la bassanta è, Mark. Ma fanti. Questo invece è il reparto. Ti dà, ti dà, ti dà. Questo invece è il reparto della produzione di rete senza nodo. Il filo elementare, eh, il, filo, continui, continui. il filo elementare viene trasferito su queste bobine, eh, solitamente sono 315 fili e sono controllati elettronicamente da una telecamera che nel caso ne mancasse uno interrompe il processo per consentire la saldatura del filo. Qui invece vediamo la tessitura della rete senza nodo. Anche qui ci sono controlli elettronici che verificano la presenza di ogni singolo filato, garantendo la qualità del prodotto. Qui invece passiamo alla trecciatura, possiamo produrre dalle trecce piombate alle trecce galleggianti o alle corde di ormeggio per ogni esigenza. Questa è parte del nostro magazzino, 
e questa è la cottura della rete, una lavorazione fondamentale che ci consente di offrire una rete eh, stabilizzata nella misura e questo è molto importante eh, anche per rispettare le normative di legge perché se la maglia eh, diminuisce di ampiezza potrebbe incorrere a qualche penalità. Mi danno a me se che lì ho lo gusto a me, se va a indovare i riri in o abbia che sa la logo della gale in lo gusto a me, ha di la alla e che si arrata no, si dice che è una cosa 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 che ci consente di tingere la rete o il singolo filato con 120 tipologie di colore. Beh, siamo a me, siamo a logo, a logo, a logo, a logo di Gio, o che la rola logo è lo, bocca no, o che la rola, ai logo sa me, ai sabac, no, ai rola logo sa me, che la, o fila fila logo di Gio, ai. Che la rola logo è lo. Qui invece vediamo la cucitura di una corda verticale di una parete utilizzata come gabbia per acquacultura e quella che vediamo per terra è un'intera gabbia che viene armata. Mi dà una messa al lugutto all'otto, vi lo dico al sugo al sugo haririo o al lugutto all'otto. Mi dà un genere lurco a me lo metto a tosse che è del lavoro. O shabak o menaha e shabak mora amal usame e sono haram wai. Questa è vista in verticale. Hai detto che lo stai facendo, Stack. Questa slide invece rappresenta alcune delle tipologie di, di tinta che possiamo produrre. Eh, vi ricordo che sono 120 tonalità e a seconda del tipo di pesca questo dettaglio potrebbe influenzare più o meno la capacità di pesca. Questo è il colore che la radice dice che non è o il colore di Gena, filo in che non è da Hayambo, si è lavorato lo stesso maker, il do cartino. Questo invece è un prototipo realizzato in laboratorio per verificare la corretta eh, tipologia eh, di rete eh, e verificare la sua capacità di ampiezza a livello verticale e orizzontale. Messa o messa, lo gufo benaio, in sciabacca, in una balle isi, in ricchissi, in una scena, in un cadicaro, in un collegismo, in un dolea. Quindi la Mediterranea Reti è in grado di, non solo di offrire la singola rete nuda, ma consegnare il pacchetto completo, quindi completo di armatura, quindi parliamo di eh, tutto il cordame e, e tutta la tipologia di rete completa, galleggianti, eh, trecce piombate o catene a seconda delle esigenze. Ciò che è importante è che il sistema è in grado di fare La Mediterranea Reti partecipa ormai da anni um, alle fiere nazionali e internazionali eh, per l'acquacultura, quindi tutto ciò che riguardano le gabbie galleggianti o sommergibili. Eh, questa è una pagina del nostro catalogo e del catalogo della fiera che illustra quello che abbiamo proposto nell'ultima fiera di Pordenone inerente al sistema eh, dell'acquacultura. Anna che ho cercato di andare a catalogo, ma non ho bugi o cercato di andare a Anna che ho cercato di andare a Cavano, ho cercato di andare a Cavano, ho cercato di andare a o in questo senso, se si tratta di un'altra cosa, 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 si tratta di Grazie alla nostra riconosciuta eh, competenza nella produzione di reti, 
siamo riusciti um, ad avere l'esclusiva su diversi territori nazionali um, della commercializzazione dei cavi Brydon Beckert, che è un marchio internazionale eh, tra i migliori in assoluto nel contesto marino. Eh, questi sono eh, alcuni dei cavi che possiamo proporre, eh, sia eh, con zincatura maggiorata e sia con diverse tipologie di acciaio speciale inerente alla pesca. Canna anna canna wa mitta an o butta la canna e na shakoyin ken an kavanenno a dunia de sida o ushakeno o denna karti denna io ho la la kavana e la kalap che sida ushakeran a qua denni. Un altro contratto di esclusività lo abbiamo avuto con, lo abbiamo tuttora con Atlantic Floats che è un prodotto della Danimarca di riconosciuta fama internazionale eh, per tutto ciò che concerne le, le più svariate tipologie di galleggianti eh, e questi sono alcuni dei prodotti che vanno maggiormente qui in Italia e oltre a questo marchio abbiamo diversi prodotti eh, di abbigliamento professionale eh, tutti collaudati ormai da anni e eh, di indiscussa qualità. Che non va a mettere a Nacca, 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 Oltre a questi prodotti eh, ce ne sono a centinaia che possono essere visualizzati sul sito. Eh, oltre ad essere dei produttori possiamo essere considerati come una gigantesca ferramenta di alta qualità che è in grado di offrire eh, dai tornichetti ai ganci, ai ganci a omega, tutto ciò che poi eh, serve ed è necessario per eh, l'attrezzaggio o la riparazione della rete. Annaka Daman ha cercato, cercato di andare a Hadin, Sahaki Genena, e ne ha cercato di andare a Uwen, o a Woodle, o a Hobakabakarto, Kalkaso, Kalavaka, Kalakana, Dadin, so Sarahane, o Hore, o Hankalo Kabakarna, Annaka, Hakiji, Karnasha, e Sabak, and Samenino, o Logutala Galahananin, Kalunka, Yakalapi Kuharim, e Loghera Lahai, o Sabenayo, Yuhikala di Atirka Logu Bahayahai. Questi sono i nostri dati, ma poi ci sarà occasione di condividerli. Io colgo l'occasione per ringraziarvi e apprezzo molto anche tutti gli interventi che ho sentito finora. Grazie. Allora, ma senti che non ho mai detto che ho fatto di chiedere a un partito di lavoro che ho fatto, ma non ho sentito che sono in Galca e mi mantengo in questo momento in questo momento. Thank you so much, uh, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Spalletra, for this presentation. All the contacts will be shared uh, this afternoon to all the Italian and Somali companies to favor the, the B2B and the, the partnerships. Now we go to the part of the, of the seminar. So we will speak about uh, processing, packaging, uh, and also the cold chain. So it's a pleasure to give the floor to Mr. Giuseppe Palma from Assoitica Italia a very promising association uh, involved in, uh, in uh, processing and uh, packaging of fishery. Mr. Palma, you have the floor. Yes, um, thank you, Mr. Uh, Dr. Pallocca. And uh, I start to share my presentation. And uh, share, okay. You see my presentation? Yeah, yeah. Okay, sure. okay. Um, um, first of all, uh, good morning everyone and uh, sorry for my bad English. Oh, no, I am, I am uh, very honored to participate on this call and um, uh, for this I thanks to Unido and uh, uh, Dr. Pallocca and uh, to all friends from uh, Somalia. Uh, my intervention will uh, not be a technical because uh, I leave uh, uh, the space to Mr. Ricciotti, uh, Mr. Ricciotti, 
uh, also because uh, to talk about the technology in the fish chain, we need a special session about uh, the, uh, a lot of uh, technology in the fish chain. My intervention, I want to clarify some details re regarding the strategic, strategic relevance of a third country like Somalia for the Italian and the European fish economy. Above all, because Italy needs to import fish products. Asoitica is an association uh, that um, brings together the industry of seafood. Uh, we give uh, support uh, to our uh, uh, member uh, about the food safety, uh, the uh, law about the, the trade, and all the problems that the uh, industry uh, can find in the, uh, in, uh, the, in the world. The association, association is in contact with the, some ministry, uh, especially with the Ministry of Health, Agriculture, and uh, Ec Economic Development, and for the question about Somalia with the foreign affairs. Uh, we represent uh, uh, 110 companies, but our company generates 7 million of turnover. So we associated, our company are the biggest company in Italy. Uh, our member uh, import, export, uh, trade, transform seafood and sell seafood. But essentially our company import fish. Uh, I am the president of uh, another organization, the interbranch organization of fishing and aquaculture sector in Italy. It's the only one uh, interbranch organization that cover all the steps of fish chain, from the production to the restaurant. In fact, the member of uh, this interbranch organization uh, is uh, the uh, Unci Agroalimentare is the fisherman. Federop is an organization of uh, um, uh, association of organization of the producer. Andami is a national association of wholesale market. Asoetica is national association of seafood. And uh, these two partners is very, very important is the Italian FIDA, Italian Federation of Food Retailers, and FIPE is the Italian Federation of Public Exercise, especially uh, bar, restaurant, pizzerias, and other uh, kind of seller. We start to discuss about the question of uh, in, in India Ocean and Somalia too, uh, in 2018, uh, uh, in uh, the, the first uh, meeting of IORA in Mazzara del Vallo. And we start to discuss with the Mi Minister of Foreign Affairs with uh, uh, India, Indonesia, Thailand, um, uh, Vietnam, and with the uh, Somalia uh, uh, delegation. This is the most important slide of my presentation. We have this, uh, this um, uh, chart of uh, the production of lending in Italy, but we have the uh, increase of import. In Italy, we have 83% of import of fish. We, so we need to have contact with third, especially with third country, especially with some third country that have a good potential to fish the, uh, the to fishing the fish and to to elaborate or transform the fish in the third country. This is a um, um, uh, representation of the production in Italy. We can see that uh, uh, nine hundred million is the production of uh, um, 
uh, fishing in Italy. Uh, maybe 300 million of aquaculture, but our company generate 6.85 billion of turnover. So uh, the gap between the production in Italy and the uh, trade in Italy is, is too high. Uh, you know this because uh, we uh, we uh, we have a lot uh, 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 we, uh, we need to import, but not only Italy, uh, 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 European all the European country member need to import the fish, but we need to cooperate with these third country because the fish chain. Uh, fish fish chain change and this is found that data we uh, the consumer in Italy and in Europe want to eat much more fish and so we can find this fish to sell to the consumer but we have first of all some indication about RASF is the European system for food safety. Italy is the first member in Europe that produce the um, alert when we have a microbiological chemical problem in the fish. So we need uh, to put attention on the fish about this problem. And you can see in the second chart that uh, the fish, this this second, uh, this the fish is the most important product food that have uh, this kind of problem. Second aspect, especially for the development of seafood in the um, in the in the, in the in Somalia, we need to give innovation to the production. I put to your attention only two examples, the anchovy and the clam. We need to start from the past, go to the future, because the consumption of the fish, the consumption of the fish, it changed. And will ch the consumer want to eat fish, but not with the, um, traditional uh, preparation. So we need to, um, to uh, involve, to uh, increase technological aspect in this preparation. I want to put to your attention the uh, question of COVID. About the clam, we notice that in the, in the quarantine period, lockdown, we, uh, we noticed that a decrease of uh, live clam, fresh clam, but we need an increase of uh, consumption of frozen clam and package, package uh, vacuum package of clam. And this increase is about 20% in the, in the, in the lockdown period. So, uh, to start a cooperation with the industry in Somalia, we need to, um, to focus the attention on the importance of the import for, uh, uh, for the country, Italy. We need to diversify, diversify the, the fish because the Italian consumer and the uh, European consu uh, consumer know about 20 fish and eat uh, 20 fish. But to start a new system uh, of uh, uh, protection of our, um, uh, our sea with sustainability, we need to explain to the consumer the different fish that we can fish in the sea. And I know that in Somalia, we have a lot of this opportunity because I 
discovered that uh, we in Somalia we have uh, maybe 35 uh, species of uh, um, of shrimp and we have uh, uh, 11 different type of grouper so we need to fish this kind of product and to probably transform in the in the in the third country in Somalia then we uh, uh, we can import in our uh, in our uh, country so on this uh, uh, with this aspect uh, is it important is it strategic to uh, give some innovation to the technology of fishing and to produce in the in Somalia uh, and uh, in this way I can leave the, the the floor to the next next uh, uh, intervention because um, I think that uh, is important for us to uh, import the fish but if we can import the fish with a little uh, processing um, uh, with the freezing or, or filleting or other kind of of uh, of uh, Te technique, we can uh, find a good market in the Italian uh, in the Italian market. Thank you for uh, your attention. Thank you so much, Dr. Palma, for this interesting presentation. You mentioned the next speaker, so uh, we give the floor to Mr. Giuseppe Ricciotti from Mominox. Uh, he will speak about refrigeration and quality of raw material in the frozen food industry. Mr. Ricciotti, you have the floor. Uh, good morning. Good morning to everybody. Uh, I try to to share the, the screen with a with a little presentation of uh, of my of uh, of the company Movinox. Uh, I'm a food uh, technologist and specialized into into field of uh, of fish and uh, ready meal vegetable and uh, especially for the for the frozen food uh, our company is uh, it's on the market since uh, 15 uh, year since uh, since the 70s and uh, we see we see in italy and in the, into europe field all evolution of uh, of fish and uh, food industry in general and uh, especially into frozen food frozen food it's the the second the second by by quality uh, that uh, every consumer can uh, can use can uh, can eat can uh, can prefer uh, in front of fresh uh, fresh food into into fish uh, fish field it's uh, it's uh, very very important the the quality quality um, understand like um, frozen chain cool cold chain and processing uh, fast fast uh, fast execution of the of the processing and packaging labeling and uh, all operations that allow us to to have a traceab traceability of the of the fish so i i need to know where uh, where fish is uh, catched it's harvested uh, where the fish is uh, processed and uh, which is the country where arrived the fish to to head the it's it's very important today for all producers of fish uh, increase the the headed value <laughs> of uh, of their uh, their product of the their uh, their fish and to to give uh, to give value value to to fish it's uh, it's very important the quality quality um, uh, quality that uh, arrive from uh, using using coal so um, preserving the fish from the uh, Preserving the fish from the from the warm from the uh, bacteria bacteria um, formation and uh, uh, 
to 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 have um, a processing a processing uh, a processing eccolo qua a processing net from the from the um, catching from the the picking from the sea of the of the fish uh, using using uh, ice ice in flake or uh, in uh, in every in every field in every case uh, cold to maintain the, the quality the quality of the of the fish so the the main problem sometimes using a fish that uh, arrives on, from foreign country it's that this kind of fish have uh, not a good chain uh, cold chain and uh, uh, every every people a lot of people think that uh, it's important the the processing the processing uh, facility but but it's very important also to to use boat to use uh, uh, fishing system that allow to to have uh, a protection from warm of the of the fish. Uh, in uh, in this um, in this slide that you are uh, are see you can see um, uh, company Movinox. Movinox is a company. It's a, a, a family a family company that you you have seen in the in the forward uh, slide uh, based in Italy in the middle of Italy on the on the Adriatic coast on the west coast and uh, on the east coast sorry and uh, Movinox uh, supply supply the main company in Italy and uh, around the world uh, giving them machinery processing uh, know-how and uh, all things that they they need to to put on the um, on their plants uh, machinery and uh, system to to produce uh, frozen food mainly mainly frozen food we are specialized into um, um, se può tornare un attimino indietro uh, verso verso la copertina si vedeva ecco all'inizio la copertina ecco qui qui grazie no, no ecco grazie uh, Movinox is specialized into fish industry uh, vegetable industry frozen uh, specially for the frozen and uh, convenience food like added value added value foods like fish burger uh, like uh, fish nuggets uh, buttered and breaded uh, fish and uh, uh, snack based uh, on the fish. We are specialized on the packaging and the handling of uh, of the product. So uh, about uh, about the the fish, we 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 supply nine uh, nine uh, on uh, on ten companies in, in Italy. So the nineteen percent of the market is covered by Movinox equipment in Italy and uh, other company on the Mediterranean area using uh, using our machine our machine is a machine to to, to skin fish to filleting fish to make operation on uh, on the fish so uh, we are able to to supply also um, turn cape turn cape plant because because it's very important uh, in front of the machine also have uh, have a, a plant that it's equipped with a good uh, a good uh, cold uh, cold system uh, cold storage and uh, cold uh, refrigeration and uh, Plant for ice in flake uh, uh, production. So, uh, into into field of fish, especially fish um, to to export it, uh, it's important use a, a cold. The cold uh, we need uh, to have a cold ambient uh, from the sea up to the container. 
because uh, fish needs corn. Fish needs uh, cooling, cooling system, good cooling system, because because uh, to preserve the to preserve the quality, uh, it's important to have a facility that allow um, to maintain the quality because uh, because the quality we lose the 70 60 70 percent of the quality of the fish uh, we lose quality on the boat during the trip from the catching area to uh, loading on the track to to the facility to the to the plant so it's important um, learn uh, to use the the cold the cold chain because the cold chain save the the quality uh, of the fish and maintain uh, an eye added value on the on the fish uh, our company supply different uh, turnkey turnkey facility uh, we give uh, we give know how to realize area and uh, and uh, processing processing uh, uh, step by step processing so and and um, staying under the european law to, to obtain c c a stamp on the on the on the on the pack and uh, to to are able uh, to sell the the fish produced on the foreign countries into european european field it's uh, it's very important to have a, a facility with the c e uh, c low respect uh, plant because uh, because the C C stamp on the on the on the pack allow to to sell the fish into uh, European area. Uh, other things are, I I don't know I don't want uh, to. Come si dice annoiare annoiare le persone farle addormentare. No no no. no, no mi, rendo, mi, rendo, mi rendo conto che è anche tardi. Thank you so Thank much, you so much. Mr. Riccio. If there is some some question that you you want uh, under pose uh, over pose to to me, I'm uh, your disposal. Yes, thank you so much for the questions. We wait for the Q and A session. Now I would like to give the floor to Mr. Madi Sakande from New Code System. So a uh, big reality in uh, near Bologna. Uh, he will speak about solar powered cold rooms for agro food commercial sector. Madi, you have the floor. Microphone. Good morning, all. Thank you for you need for organizing this. Good morning, all. It's a pleasure for me to be here with you, Amadi Sakande, uh, the, the Italian Burkinabe, half African, half Italian. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a, the manager of uh, the company of New Call System in, uh, in Bologna and uh, also a coordinator and uh, instructor of Centro Studi Galileo with the Italia Training Institute. And also I'm working as a, a consultant for UNIDO to imp the implementation of uh, a HPMP program. HPMP program is about uh, phase out management plan of uh, the refrigeration in uh, developing country, only in Africa, uh, where I'm right now. Now I'm talking to you from Ouagadougou in uh, Burkina Faso. So thank you so much to UNIDA again and to you all of you uh, by being here to sharing with me a, a solution I imaginate for Africa, then uh, I call it African dream because for me, uh, from Africa, I know that uh, this product is very, very useful for African continent. Then I called it cold room inside the farm. This is African dream. 
as you know, in, in Africa, after uh, we have raised most of the product, we lose a lot of, of our food stuff because of lack of uh, uh, cold rooms and also because of lack of electricity. As you know, all the cold rooms are uh, powered by electricity source. And here uh, in Africa, of problem to store the fish, the fruit, the vegetable fresh because we are not available in the rural or remote location where grid electricity is almost not available. So without having a conventional energy source at this area, the present product that I have to present to you, taking in design by me uh, to use the, uh, a PIVU powered vapor compression refrigeration system to, to preserve the food. So I, I will uh, be short to, to show you the situation, but I know most of you already know this as Africans. Uh, where after fish ring, because today we are talking with fish ring, we have a fresh fishes, and the other side, you are also, after harvesting, you, you are also a fresh fruit or fresh vegetable. This is a few, few hours after the activity. And we just need to wait few days, two or three days after we have these other pictures. Uh, unfortunately, as an African, uh, it's a pain for me to see everyday Africa who's throwing away food stuff and after turn back to ask and help to get something to eat is for me unacceptable. Then as an engineer, I start to work and to see how I can, can I find a solution to solve this problem in Africa. But I think, I think this product is not only for Africa, it's all over the world because now we know the problem of electricity, even in Europe, in some area, uh, because of uh, the cost of electricity, we have the sun, you know, and mainly in the south of East, uh, Europe, I, I think Italy and uh, South Italy too. We can use such a product. Then I uh, have to show you the product that I realized. And this is an image. This is new cold system in Wagadu where I am now. I will let you hear a little bit of the presentation of the product. Is in French. I hope you are hearing, but if you don't hear it, don't mind. You are seeing the picture, and after I will explain you. We cannot hear the audio. You, you are cannot hear. Sorry. So I present to you the, the cold rooms. There are three sides of cold room who can be powered by the solar uh, system or electrogen group or a conventional electricity. Okay, this is a free size of cold room you can hear. Don't care about number because we is a number from, for Burkina Faso. So this is the advertise made here. I'm all right now in, 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 the, in the store here. This is a view of the free size of this cold room I made. Then I will go to give you, I will go to give you Sorry, okay. This is another picture without uh, a without a video, without uh, audio. I'll, I'm going to explain you. It, this is a, a new project. We use also this uh, new, there's new call rooms. We have two units who's performing right now around Ouagadougou here. It's about 25 kilometers out in downtown. In, in, in and they are positive call room and negative call room. They are working properly 100% without conventional electricity. This is working with PIVU solar system. And this is a system made in Italy, exported to Africa here in Burkina Faso. And we are selling it all over the world, even from the Italy. Their system are working. This is in, uh, in, in some kind of Italian agritourism place because of the, the, the honor of this activity. They make fishing inside because it's kind of agriculture. We make fishing inside 
they make um, a fruit and vegetable culture inside and here they are st storing all their production and this is uh, when we finished the installation a uh, few days a uh, few weeks ago they're almost working now properly with all the product inside this is important because this kind of product is useful for all African country because I think with this device for the commercial area because I start mainly to think about commercial area. You are seeing the picture here, the video here. This is a, 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 a power grid, okay? This is a power grid where we produce with the PV, the electricity because it is uh, where he, the vessel um, they are installed, we are even have electricity around. This is a in middle in the in the ground in the in, in, in rural area. Okay, this is the this house of uh, power where we have uh, storage because we have some battery where the storage the, the power you are seeing now the batteries they are storing the power. But I have to make you know that the, all the center, all the place, the agritourism is all powered by people. This power is not only for the, our, our call room, because there are two call rooms there, not only for the call rooms, but all, for the whole area. Okay? This is a, a very interesting project that we realized with some of our uh partner here not Katne, it's a customer this is a club how you can see is a kind of agro-tourism italian agro-tourism where you can go outside the, to the city and to get fresh air and to enjoy your time so this is a to show you that the solution to preserve our food i after 23 years because i is almost 23 years i'm living in italy but 20 years I'm working in this sector. And finally, I found three years ago the solution of what we need to solve our problems in Africa in terms of food preservation. Of course, you can store because we are positive one and we negative. Positive, that means you can keep in, in minus 18. That means you can store inside a fish. You will ask me probably what let me show you the picture of the size. You have three models. We can make even bigger than this, but we are starting focus in commercial area because I know the main problem in Africa is not the industry. The industry is the consequence of the development of the commercial area. So I start the production for some models that can be used in the commercial area to uh, to, to promote the, uh, the, the small uh, 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 enterprise. It's because this is a very small activity, the small commercial activity, we can bring Africa to the industrial need. Now we are throwing a lot of product, so we have to give the possibility to the women, men who are working in fishery on uh, on selling food, on, uh, on, on every activity, commercial area, will be able to produce and to have a, 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 economically the project sustainable and to start the real development of the continent. As you can see here, we have three models. We have 3.66 uh, meter cubes. This is a smaller one, more or less to give you an idea, is about the volume of 13 refrigerator, 13, three, one refrigerator at home. This is a, to give you an idea. We have a second, the medium size is 6.36 meter cubic, and the biggest one is 8.96 uh, meter cubic, that means nine meter cubic. The uh, nine meter cubic, this is important. This is the internal volume I gave to you. That, and if you can, want to know the 
the, the input power, you can see the system is running even in, um, here I have to talk to you technically, because you, are, you, are, you know most of the technical system made in sailing around the world doesn't take in consideration the African climate. Because when we talk, we, we manufacture the air conditioner or we are manufacturing a, a lot of device, cooling device, we are thinking about European temperature. That means we are about 30 degrees in uh, summer. So we are talking about the condensing a temperature around 45. A 45 condensing temperature, that means the, the, the ambient temperature is about 30. But in Africa, we are almost with the temperature, the ambient temperature around 40 or more. That means if you are taking a, a normal uh, system, air conditioner, or normal uh, refrigeration system made for European country, because all the manufacturers in, around the world, all from Europe, from United States, or in, in, from in, in China or India, they're manufacturing thinking about the, the big market. The big market is Europe. Then they don't almost take the consideration our condition here. And then this, most of this system are really absorbing a lot of power. And we know we don't have power. So a manufacturer here, as a consultant of UNIDO, are taking consideration the, the, the ambient matter. So I use the refrigerant that you can find in Africa, but is the most of the refrigerant who is, which is a technically the good product to use. This is a R134A. It's the same refrigerant that we are using in the cars. And this refrigerant can condense even at 70 degrees. I know I'm talking technically to someone who are not probably technical technician, but it's important to know that these systems are made properly for African use. And when I present it, I say this is a, a product made by African in African factory for Africans. This is important for you to know that this is your product, and this is a product who's meeting your, the need of African countries for preserve the food stuff. Then uh, I hope. Uh, I give you information yeah. almost yeah. at my contact, and I think this product can be used in any project, in any project, everywhere in the developing country without the problem of lack of electricity. This is a conclusion of what this product can be taken in consideration in any project you have to realize that you need to preserve food stuff. It, it may be fishy, maybe vegetable, maybe I don't know. Whatever you want, even in 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 in, in health sector, you can even preserve uh, uh, some medicine. You can preserve blood. You can preserve everything you want to preserve. So this is my conclusion of the projectation of product. You have my contacts here and uh, my emails, you can email to me. I'll share with you a few seconds in the, the chat room. I'll share with you too my LinkedIn contact. You can get in contact and after, uh, of course, I'm here to, to, to answer also to your question. Thank you very much for everything. Have a Thank you so much, Madi. Thank you for this presentation, very interesting. Uh, in fact, the problem of, uh, of uh, power production in, in Africa is very, very, very important. In this, in this framework, uh, uh, I introduce the last speaker, Mr. Shardago from Safe Globe. Uh, he will speak about fish quality, technical process, and conservation. So, um, Shardago, uh, you have the floor, please. Thank you, Francesco. Um, I'm looking for my presentation. So, okay, thank you so, and I would like to thank very much Unido about this uh, very interesting uh, 
seminary. And uh, I thank everybody. I would like to so thank my brother, Madi, who has uh, about his show, he has uh, taken in consideration very important problem in Africa, but it's not in Africa, in the all developed country. That without the energy, it's difficult to go on in this uh, sector to make the calling and frozen of uh, the agriculture, meat and fish production. So, um, my presentation in this case uh, concerning the fish quality, technical process and conservation. My um, the first um, speakers has think spoken about the quality of uh, the product. That is important to know what we are going to talk about quality. What is the problem? Okay. So the quality is uh, defined as uh, the capability to meet the requirements or need consumer or of the client who benefit from a product or service. They are going to take in consideration the objective quality factors which depend on the food. And another aspect is the subjective qualitative factors which are in state connected specification and state of the consumer. What mean? Everybody, someone else can appreciate the production, and in this case specific the fish, taking in consideration some factors who are going to qualify the quality of the production. So we can also see the quality in uh, uh, nutritional aspects. In this case, the energy that we are going to input to bring in our organism to our uh, wealth. So the energy value aspect is very important. Another quality aspect is the hygienic and sanitary quality. If we are going to frozen, to cool the product in the case, the fish, it's also important to save the quality of the production. Organ leptic quality also is another aspect who includes all the characteristics that make food more or less to optimize the appetite. And also the technique, the technology quality that we are spoken now is important. In this case, SelfGlobe is uh, a small company who work in the um, uh, processing work to make the, some machine who can process the food like fish, meat, vegetable, and compare with uh, some uh, artisanal company to make another machine. So if we are going to produce um, some machine, some equipment, this equipment maybe must be taken in consideration the quality aspect of the food process. Without this, we cannot guarantee the quality of the product. Also, without the energy, it will be difficult also to consider the quality of the product. So, the all factors are connected to put them together and take away the quality of the production. Here we can see the notion that uh, we intrinsic fish quality is relative notion that depends on the place, the destination uh, of the fish, the religion, the cultural sector. So the terminology of quality is very, very large that uh, you are going to consider the place where you are. Self Globe has uh, some times ago uh, make some innovation 
concerning uh, the small places, small box, where we can process some food. This is a, cont a container. We call him modular, but we can modulate it. In this modular, we can introduce, we can put inside some machine to process. The end of the process of the chain, we are going to make the cooling, the frozen of the production. Here we can take in consideration in this aspect the fishing, the fish sector that the processing is very important. When you just cut the fish, it's important to cut the temperature inside of the fish to broken some process like uh, degeneration of the food. So after cut the fish, we are going to put it inside of this modular in the frozen temperature to cut this inside temperature to improve the conservation. Here you can see also the build of uh, um, in accordance to the current health and hygiene regulation, as well as designed paying particular attention on the space optimization. So just to show what we can make inside of the modular of the container. We see uh, with our equipment, we can uh, process uh, up to uh, 6,000, 8,000 kilogram, um, kilogram days per days to the um, is a, a medium, small and medium size factor that we are going to process. So we can also make a big, but our scope is to give some solution to the rural area of a small um, fisherman to valorize uh, those production. Also, the modular, our modular plant can be uh, customized with several op optional and uh, in accordance to the, um, the client or the consumer. It is possible, in fact, to put together them with another um, modular. So we can take two, three, or five containers to complete the process of uh, this uh, processing concerning the fish. In, but uh, uh, if we have uh, to take uh, one modular, it's difficult to complete the process. But it depends that the client can be ask us and we can give him the solution. Our modular are going to respect the mark of community European uh, condition to make our um, machine. So the main option available for the exterior fishing allow our modular plant to be in the compliance with the environmental impact assessment. We can see inside of our modular what we can find. This is a machine that we are making, we are put inside, and this machine are made from another company with we are operating in this sector. So this also inside of the modular only to show you what we can put inside and the guarantee the quality of the production and of the process uh, concerning the fish. Concerning the cooling is very important because uh, the quality of, in this case, uh, are going to uh, save the quality of fish, just cows. So, we can, like uh, uh, Mr. Uh, my friend, uh, Mike, I said some time ago, a few minutes ago, we are going to conserve zero and plus four degrees inside of this modular to respect the condition where the fish will be conserved, is quality, is temperature 
to be transformed, to be uh, make the process, to be so big the process during uh, the time that you need to conserve it inside of the, of the modular. So you can see here the different, uh, the, the technical system, what we are using inside of the working temperature and the structure is the structure of in uh, um, the modular. We are going to take into consideration the water drainage system, the number cold store, and also the cold store in the, um, the case we are going to make the regulation and uh, maintain the fish after the processing phases. Also, the, another aspect important is the electric installation that Mr. Um, Mighty has said a few minutes ago. It's very important in Africa to guarantee the energy. So now we can get energy through the biomass, uh, green energy, solar energy, and uh, uh, another system. This is very important because without the energy, we cannot stop speaking about the, the frozen. Secondly, we can see the hygiene sector that I tell is very important. We cannot put together the process area and uh, the place where the manpower who work in this place maybe must be different. So before start your process, before start your working, it's important to be clean, to be changed, to be take care your safety, to be take care yourself before inside, go inside of the modular process. So this is only to show you what we can find inside of our different modular put it together to make the process of the fish. So another important sector in the quality of the fish, not only fish quality, but we are going to respect some condition is HACCP as an analyze and critical control point in each process of the food production and not only is important to take in consideration this aspect and our technology maybe must respect this condition to be able and be sell in the world to manage the system so um, in few minutes that I show you what we are making and uh, my role in uh, self globe is uh, a general manager of the relation with the state and the institution and the project. We are available to give our uh, contribution in Somalia about uh, the food process, in this case specific fish process and guarantee the quality of the protection. I would uh, like to again thank you very much, uh, Unido, about this uh, seminar, and uh, I'm available for each question. Thank you. Thank you very much, Charles. A very, very interesting presentation. We know your company in, uh, since uh, many years, so we know, uh, we know that you, you produce this, um, this kind of equipment. Mm -hmm. Very interesting for Africa and not only for Somalia. Now it's time to, to give the floor to our friends from, uh, from Somalia, but firstly to Mr. Hamed Elmi from the Ministry of, uh, of Commerce and Industry of, uh, of Somalia for, um, for, a, for a welcome, for a, for a speech, and then we will present the Somali companies. Mr. Hamed, you have the floor. Thank you very much, uh, Francesco, and uh, I appreciate I understand that the, the government didn't have a uh, presentation here, but it's fine. And we wanted to give the uh, opportunity. The, the business uh, people to talk and talk about work together and increase this productivity for, uh, for the baby I should uh, intervention on my personal um, uh, experience as well as the seeing the context of Somalia and what works and what may not work and how we can best implement these great ideas and great technology and great equipment that we have uh, spoken about and all the presentations uh, that was presented. I think the 
the need is great and as if there is no uh, infrastructure or any existing uh, processing uh, equipments and, and, and what have you. So potential is great, but how we go about this potential, I think is the key to this uh, equipment. Um, I think I will put like two categories. One is like the applicability and what works in Somalia now and how quick we can move forward from the business people to look at the country context first, how we can best put this equipment uh, uh, implement in places where it's the most suitable place and, and what have you. We also see with 30 years of conflict and, 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 and kind of like uh, uh, legal framework, securities, and all these other factors to consider. What is the purchasing power? So these are some of the questions that we also need to uh, answer. Again, another uh, area to look at in terms of applicability would be the availability and reliability of energy. Yeah, we need to look at that and see, you know, when we consider um, uh, these equipments and, and, and its implementation, as well as the familiarity of the, the, the beneficiaries or the, 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 the clients or people on the ground in Somalia, uh, their knowledge of technology and how they can best utilize these technologies. Are they familiar with that? and what sort of trainings they need and, and that, that sort of things. I think that needs to be considered. And with that in mind, we need to then uh, look at options. Options in terms of the company size, what is it that this company size can implement, how much of information they can take, how much of equipment that they can apply. We need to look at the capital and manpower. We also need to consider all of this and give options that are uh, that can be implemented in, in Somalia. And then provided that information is, is well taken and also uh, considered and analyzed, we need to consider then mobility and accessibility of these equipment that we are trying to implement. We need to look at that and how mobile is another. Is that possible? Is it possible to make it like a stationary whereby then we can install this and, and how accessible that these, uh, these equipments are for the business community. Uh, we need to look at the time for implementation, training, and support for these equipments. Because if we don't have that, uh, at least the training and support that is required, it will be a bit challenging for continuity and also to increase that productivity. Another thing to consider would be the energy efficiency. These equipments, how efficient are they in terms of en uh, energy efficiency and, 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 and so on and, and so on. Again, we need to look at the affordability as well and financing. We need to consider this, uh, this as well. And last but not least, the scalability. Because now, looking at the uh, context of the country, if we implement and give options at a, at a, at a lower scale, how to scale up the various options that we can go from start sometime in the medium term, and then for the future, I think that scalability is very important. I just thought maybe I just throw that in there so that uh, as we move forward when talking about this equipment, we give considerations the, the uh, applicability of these equipments and, and, and products that we are selling and also things to, to consider in terms of uh, uh, moving forward. Thank you very much. And I, uh, I'm sorry, I have to uh, jump in. Yeah? Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ahmed. Thank you very much for your, uh, for your speech. And now I, I ask to Najib, uh, my colleague in Mogadishu, to coordinate the presentation of the Somali companies. We have, uh, mm, we have 10 minutes to introduce the company. So, so just a, a, a brief, uh, uh, just a brief. Uh, just a brief introduction with the name and the business in which you are involved. Uh, as we can we can go directly to the Q and A session to close the the meeting, please. Ciao, ciao, ciao uh, Francesco. Thank you ciao. so much. Yeah. Uh, I will just start with the top one and then go down of the list. Um, can start with Abdi Khalif. Yes, uh, you can yes, mention your name and your organization and what you do, please. Very very briefly. Yes, uh, hi, I hope everybody can hear me. 
I would have to just say briefly here what my company does. I know the time is uh, everybody's tired and hungry. We have uh, two fishing vessels here in Kismayo operating in Jubaland. We actually uh, export fish uh, and other seafood uh, products to uh, Middle East and East, East Africa and South Africa. The, most of the equipment of the companies, Italian companies who have presented the products, we are not interested. I wish we can have a list or they can leave the uh, contact with the uh, uh, Chamber of Commerce here in Kismayo or Mogadishu so we don't have access to it. Another thing I will raise or the help and support we need is to tap into the European market. How can you help us? How can we actually get into that market? Because there is so many requirements within the uh, European Union to actually export products from ex countries like Somalia. I have two uh, fishing vessels here, capacity of 50 uh, ton each. We support more than 3,000 fishing uh, communities within the Jubilee area. We actually moving into uh, other parts of Somalia. We are a new company. The product here presented today, we are interested. We would like them to leave the contact details with the Chamber of Commerce in Mogadishu or here in Kismayo so we can actually have access to that. And also, we need some information about how we market our product or we tap in into the Italian market. As many uh, people have actually raised uh, Italy and Somalia, there was a long fishing business uh, relationship which has already died out. How can we reestablish that? How can you support us? And um, I'm just going to leave uh, that because uh, the time is not permitted to talk uh, much more. Yes, thank you. Please. Hello? Uh, yes. Please be, be be shorter because we have a, we have a, a very very limited time. So, thank you so much. Go ahead. I have been as short. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Next one is Abu Bakr. Okay. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes. Here you go. Okay. Hello. Hello. Yes, I'm ready now. So I'm National Fish Company. Is uh, has been started in 2000, and it has been started working for the southern Somalia. It is production has been exported neighboring countries and Gulf Arabian Gulf countries. So up to now, we work going on. The, the export and local, okay, uh, then the company has a factory in Mogadishu and we prepare and process fish and lobster stuff and others. So we need an export market, and I ask Italian, Italians how they can support us and work together. As uh, Al Qair, General and Fishing Company. Al Khair General and Fishing Company, if you can hear me, you are muted. Yes, um, Al Khair General and Fishing Company, and good morning. You need on all of them, but of this of uh, Simena. Yes, we can hear you. Go ahead. Uh, Al Qair Journal is established domestic international seafood company. Uh, operates international dry fishing product supply chain from the own processing plants in Raskamboni, Somalia. 
We have a state of the art in housing, broad precision center, and a large housing facility designed in the ACOB with the local will as the demand. Generates a large percentage of the products locally as Kamboni, Kuda, Madawa, and uh, try fishing to the, from in Kenya Babaza. Activities have increased the daily eating for the local fishermen in having the supply in the speed boats and other fishing equipment. <laughs> I am Abdullah Mahmoud Nur Shirka, the Tokal Fishing Company Alira. Hello, could you put your last? Ah, hello. Yes, I was a Mahler. Ah, وحنا ودو فيها إن هونغ كونغ يدوي أونك لدو فيها مركا إن وأباهنا يهدي وحنا نلاس سمي هيا إن شركة نلاس نقنا يهدي له لا يا وهيل وأباهنا هاي وأنا اللي زينة سلام عليك مرحبا تلاقي yeah my name is محمد علي I'm founder and the CEO of Somali Marine Products uh, we are working uh, the fisheries since the last 10 years. We are we're exporting to the, uh, China and, and, uh, and the Middle East. And uh, we have uh, the fishing boat which is capacity for 30, 30 tons. Really, we need the machineries and uh, the equipment is that, um, the presented in here for the Italian company. And I, I recommend that the, the Italian should have uh, the, the the presence or the agencies in Somalia so we can communicate and we can buy with them and uh, we need many many things that we we have seen in here so uh, it is it is, will be possible that for us for the, anyone else who need to invest in this sector to have uh, you know and uh, you have access and uh, you know get more information more equipment is uh, the these uh, things like now we go to Dubai we go to Turkey we go to China to get the core roomies, the other spare parties, especially for the natties and the other and the fishing in gearies and that now we use, we, we import. Very few companies are imported and now we have a lack of, uh, you know, the technologies, fishing technologies now. We have many problems for this, for the catch, for the process, for the, you know, the packaging, especially the packaging we don't have in here in the place. So I recommended that the Italian company can have and the agencies that can open the offices, stories, so we can communicate. Other thing that the Italian association is that wants to have a collaboration. First, we need to be, you know, uh, <coughs> certified the machineries to have, you know, processing facilities in Belize. So we need uh, to get the, the access with the helping of the UNIDO and the, and the mediation of the other parties and, the, you know, and the local banks to get the, the many equipment that we can export our fish or see, seafood products to the European market. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Thank you uh, Mohammed. Uh, that's a great point. Uh, the co with regarding to the context, uh, ITPO, uh, in particular Francesco has the context in UNIDO. Yeah. And uh, we will make sure that uh, whenever information you need, that it will uh, be uh, provided. Uh, I would like to invite Amir Gedi of Sahan Seas Seafood. Uh, uh, what about now? Yes, yes. Hello? Go ahead, Hi. we can hear you. Thank you. Thank you, Najib. Thank you, Yunida. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, I thank uh, Yunida for this opportunity, and I thank to Igor and uh, Francesco for their collaboration, uh, building a bridge between Somalia and Italy and around the world to develop this sector. I also thank to the friends and colleagues of UNIDO team, Najib, Zid, all of them. Uh, I also thank to my friends and uh, partners and colleagues of Somali Fisher Association, all the fishing companies here in, who are in this meeting. 
Uh, I also thank the other Italian companies who are invited here to show their uh, modern technologies and equipment for the fish processing and fish storing. Uh, also, the other parts in Africa, like Mari Second Day, all these guys, thank you very much for providing this information. Uh, I believe this kind of opportunity for conference and meeting is a kind of developing a very opportunity, uh, giving opportunity for the Somali fishing to develop. Uh, there's no doubt that we need uh, these equipment. And uh, in Somalia, the, what you have shown us today here, it's a perfect equipment that we can uh, take the advantage of this equipment. So my only presentation is to give, we are now in a, in a, in a, a meeting of uh, these companies and equipment is between Somalia and the uh, other fishing companies. But what I suggest is we, uh, we need to go ahead for, to get a platform or mechanism, a way of how we can connect it with these companies when we need these equipment is in Somalia. And uh, I really thank you for the effort of doing the Chamber of Commerce and the Minister of the Fishing to give these uh, meetings and uh, these kind of forums. And I thank you everybody here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Amir Gedi from uh, Sahan Seafood. Uh, I would like to give the floor to East Africa Fishing. Hi, Assalamu Alaikum, everyone. Um, hi, Hamid. I wanted to share with you. I, I, can you guys see my, uh, are you guys seeing my screen that I shared with yeah. you guys? Yes, yes. Oh, perfect, okay. So let me go ahead and go back quickly. So I agree with everything that Hamid said right now. Right now with East Africa Fishing Company, we are, I'll be quick, we, right now we have local, uh, we do local businesses at this moment and we provide seafood with uh, to local schooling and stuff like that. But we are looking at international and it will be great if you guys can come and invest on us and, you know, uh, be part of this building Somalia at this moment. If, again, our company is called East Africa Fishing Company. I don't want to take a lot of information. That's our contact information. If you have it, you can privately email me. And again, we are a private owned business company uh, by women. And that's it. Thank you. Very interesting. Thank you. Hi. Uh, do I have the floor, Najib? Yes, please, please. Great. Uh, this is Hussein Ahmed from uh, Jorah Company, Jubalan Ocean Resources Enterprise, located in uh, Raskamboni, Somalia. Uh, I first want to start with thanking all the participants, the entrepreneurs, the governmental institutions, the nonprofits who are all involved in this uh, process. I truly, truly want to uh, uh, thank and uh, compliment the major efforts that was brought into this uh, to support uh, this project and also the larger fishing project. Uh, more. Um, Thanks to UNIDO for organizing and being uh, on top of trying to help all the involved stakeholders uh, in pulling such a wonderful presentation. Uh, I do see uh, there is a lot of interest. Uh, major obstacles have also been uh, articulated and mentioned. Uh, I think the similarities in terms of needs and uh, problems out there that are being faced by uh, fishing companies look more uh, similar. So with similar uh, problems, uh, I hope uh, unified efforts can uh, safeguard and insulate uh, struggling businesses from potential problems. Uh, the good part also is the major um, stakeholders like the government and uh, the Chamber of Commerce are all involved. All this really um, does give uh, a lot of interest to the Somali uh, fishing sector. We do see the potential, uh, Somalia having such an enormous uh, sea 
uh, seafood products that are more rich in any part of the world, uh, I think can be very vital in terms of being um, supportive to the marine resources or the, uh, the fishing uh, in a world that is struggling with food products. So I hope uh, with all these efforts, we can come up with ways in which we can support. And I truly want to spend more time congratulating all of you guys. Uh, in Raskamboni, where we are uh, located, has a very close proximity to Kenya. And uh, as a company that was new, that had uh, a good uh, coal facility stationed, has been very helpful to the local uh, fishermen and also because of our close uh, proximity to Kenya, we were able to establish a very strong um, business with the, the fishermen and also entrepreneurs across the border. So that gave us uh, a very good starting point in terms of trying to come to the market. Uh, what I do see is we also do need to have more involvement with the other world more specifically with the Italian companies because of the general cultural connection we have with Italy and also for the business purpose. So when we have such a strong connections, I think we can uh, provide a more stable, reliable, healthy fish to the rest of the world. So I do uh, want to say that we should really all engage in working together. Tascamboni, uh, where we are stationed, is a very nice uh, fishing coastal community that have a very strong uh, cultural connection with the larger uh, fish uh, product in the Somali Sea. So I do see we have the effort, we have the energy, and we also have uh, the motivation to be part of a wider world connected businesses that can uh, really uh, provide food nets to the rest of the world. So let's connect. Uh, I do see uh, we need uh, more funding, we need more involvement, we need more expertise, we need uh, support from companies that are already established so that we can better the processes. I think these are some uh, steps that majority of us as a country uh, and also as new entrepreneurs, we can all benefit from the expertise that comes from the international world so that we can meet this international standards and we are able to market the Somali fish to the rest of the world. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, Hussein Ahmed. Uh, we truly appreciate your comments and uh, remarks. Particularly, I know the good work that you do in Kismayo and Raskaboni area. Thank you so much. Uh, I would like to invite the next speaker, Farah, from Southern Somalia Fishery, Fisheries Development Corporation. If you can hear me, Farah, go ahead. Thank you. I can hear you. Uh, our company is called Southern Somali Fisheries Corporation. It was established on 2014. It is based in Jazeera, Southern Somalia. It deals in making or manufacturing fishing boats, storage freezers, fishing for export and local use, packaging and processing seafood. We need the basic needs that we wanted. Is we need information on business relation with our partners and some of fishing materials. Thank you. That's Thank you. Thank you, Farah. Uh, Zainab Abu Khadr. Hello, everyone. Thank you for giving us this, uh, this good opportunity. Uh, I'm representing Hagen Fishing Company. It's a Southwest based company established in mid 2014. The main activities is selling fish into the local markets. We have a good storage. Uh, our main office is located in Ayala Shibiha, that is, and also we have uh, other offices like Pay Double. Um, we are selling all the fish 
Thank you for giving us this opportunity and, uh, and uh, we undertaking the, and the introducing the, this companies. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Sayyid Abdul Khadir, we appreciate. I would like to invite Sahel Fish, Fish Company. Sahel Fish Company. Yes, we can hear you. Yes. Go ahead. So, hello, assalamu alaikum. First of all, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, I would I will like to share a small presentation. So, if you can, if you can give me a chance. Yes, keep it, keep it uh, very yeah. brief. Yes, very brief. So, and salam alaikum, all of you. Thank you for giving us this chance. And uh, first of all, our company name is Sahel Fish Company, and we established at in 2019. And Sahel Fish Company established by um, young graduates from marine and fisheries. And in existing market, and they are they are now hygienically attractive. So as we know in Mogadishu, and we operate in Mogadishu, but Selfish Company is a is offering a unique and high quality fresh fish as well as processed fish directly from sea to the market. So as now, only we we deliver and fish mar fishes to the locals, not from an um, internationally so we have an um, we have a customers local customers so they call us and we deliver to them so and the goal of the, our, our company is and um, to deliver hygienically stand, standardized fish fish products to the market and catch the interest of figural and local external lawyers customers so and we are not an, an a huge company, and we are an, a graduated from marine science, and we know what we are doing. So what we need is um, investors, um, business partners. Also, we need equipment like boats. So from now, and um, we buy from the market and we process it. So and um, so we deliver to the. To, uh, to our clients. So we need an uh, equipment so like a boat is, and, and, and like storage is something like this. So, and, and that's all. And if you are interested of us, you can contact with this email and telephone. Thank you for your time. Yes, thank you. Yes, it was very clear. Thank you so much. Um, the next, Dalson, Dalson Fishing. I'm the Dalson Fishing Company. And yeah. Dalson Fishing Company was established in uh, 2020, first of this year. So this company is consists of um, an, uh, professional fisheries that need to provide and to implement and to develop the fishing because they see the fisheries uh, don't have uh, an uh, experience and uh, they had don't have also didn't have uh, an um, professionals so that company this company they need to to implement and to develop the fisheries uh, human so this uh, the, the place of the this fish and uh, fishing company is in Hamroine also have a uh, many officers in a uh, Hamroine Galmuduk also in a uh, in, uh, in other uh, regions in Dalton fishing company they need to uh, have, 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 have equipment. Also, they, uh, they have uh, experience to implement and uh, to, to, to capture the fisheries. So, but the, the problems of uh, the sea is the, the problem is this, they talk about all the fisheries in, the, in Somalia. So uh, now we need uh, equipment or place of training, trainers uh, like uh, uh, back catching like uh, an equipment of boat and so on. So that is uh, our fishing, our fishing, borrow uh, fishing is. And so we apply a supplier. Okay, borrow fishing. Ah, uh, 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم كبار فيشن كمباني وحان جوغنا جوبلان كسمايو وحان كشغينا دراي فيش كاكلون كاقلالان يود ارغوستادا يكلون كا انتا بوا كشغينا وانا دو فينا كلون كا وحانو دو فينا لامو إلا بمباسا هولاها سيان قابلنا دراي فيش كنا إلا إلا عدالة إلا دولكا انكسو قدنا انتا انكدو فينا إلا حيبتان علن لي إلا لامو إلا بمباسا شقادة سنقبنا وكبورو فيشن كمباني السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته عليك Thank you Kibora Fishing Basically in a nutshell what Kibora Fishing Company said is that they do trading in dry fishing and then they export to Lamu area in Kenya Yeah, basically that is in two words actually what they what they do Mahamud from SMPC. Yes, Najib. I I I got my speak. I told before. Oh, okay. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Thank you. Uh, is there anyone uh, else left who wants to speak? Yes. 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 Go ahead. My, okay. My name is Livan Muhammad. My company name is Marek Fishing. So my company established in 2003. We, are, we work all kinds of seafood, especially lobster and fish. We, we, we supply domestic market, and we also we export to Turkey and United, Emirates, United Arab Emirates. So we, we need partner and, and uh, possible support. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Liban. Yakala uh, Hare? Aniga Hare. Sagal, go ahead, Sagal. And Anago Hakasauna in Hakasauda Billa Fishing Company. And we make a Billa Fishing Company. And another waha waha kumila san kambini gan waha wen iyo dalayro and waha kaka nasana o kambini kasi kaya na kalunka waha waka kaya bina waha kudidal na environment tiga mesh lugu ibina iyo kalunka ino kalun nadifa ay halam bulshada and siro kala waha adufa iyo na gabdaha o Somalia o hawen ka o kaka gana asada kalunka waha siro kala ansina tawbar أو أه سيدا إيكنون في لفتي وذا أي أقل جسنا هاين وحقوق بسنا هاين إيه سيدا أي لفتي وذا وحساب سنا هاين سيدا أقل إيه سيدا أي بدين أقل سنا هاين إيه سيدا إسكاب بحين سنا هاين إنت با إن تاس نواك عاونا هلو دو خادر مترجمة كشاب بخط كأيه حنوات آه وترجمة كرا وترجمة كرا مين مغلى ولقوا ولقوا ترجمان السجل الواحد يرسك أيه أيه ما خلصوا ما ما نكريو ها ها أوكي نوي سيام دل السجل سيام من السوشيتا دي دونة كي أوبريام مقدسيو أيوتيام من الدونة بسكارة أبندر البيش إسكارلو مغاري كوندو أنو بزوج دي إنيسياري لاوري أبندر دي دي دبتي أيوتار دي أبريباغاري دبتي Comunque è un modo per aiutare a, 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 a progredire le donne somale con, quello, con la nostra società e la nostra iniziativa. آه هي و و و عبد النور و عبد النور صار خير الخيرات فيه في كمبني وحركة أنتي على مقبشة فيش كنا أنتي على مقبشة لا يو أرتنا وانكون بالسن هاي بس في قبو قول قول شو رتنا وانا هاي وحنا لسه بي 
ጥቆም ተጋብጦ ተጋጫን እየተጋል ሲ ዲስክሪፕሽን ይሰማት ማርታ ዋን ኡባና ሩንቲ ዋን ኢዳን ማርታ ወጣ ወያ ኡባና ኡኑ ሚሰ ዋን ማርከት ዋ ኩሄጋ ማርከ ዋ ከምብንያል ኦፍ ኢያታላ ወጣ ኢዲ marka wa soo dhoweynina idii si saxa u maartay qabsa inay noolo maamusan ka Allahu diyaaran oo ma wa soo dhowaa yes a duqadir jimaa alay ado ma santa hay duqadir jimaa can you translate please ah noi siamo una società che opera in Mogadiscio che è stata stata creata nel 1999 Eh, abbiamo delle celle frigorifere eh, abbiamo anche bisogno di una cooperazione se avete l'opportunità colgo questa opportunità di esporre i nostri bisogni di, di mercato di conoscenza tecnica però già adesso con, noi operiamo nel, lo, nel mercato locale provvediamo il pesce dal mare al, all'interno ai, ai nostri clienti però abbiamo bisogno di implementare e di creare la nostra città più grande Okay, thank you. Amadouta Duhad. Eh, dadka la maahare, eh, kambaniyal maahareen oo ka faa'iideysanaya waqtiga hore. Abdul Adil Gash, ma la tarjumo warkiis? Hello, Mas. Hello. Ah. Abdul Qadir, warka ada adoo soo koobay ku soo celi Abdul Walaagu turjuba Abdullahi. Abdullahi oo ku soo celi walaal. Ah, ni waa. Abdullahi Galgash waaya. ترجمه <تصفيق> مركا وسودوي هنا كمبني ياشاس وادينا لشركو بايان اد ابو باهن هاي وانا لا شقيسينا ما ما سنتين وسودوي هنا كمبني ياش او تليان غي لا سوتيتا لا سوتيتا دل سينيور عبد الله اي ستات كرياتا نل 2001 عبد الله عبد الله يلا والله كان دري لا لا سوتيتا عبد الله عطك هذا حب بليز هذا رالي اي 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 عبد الله عطك اسكت واحد 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 هذا خاطر اذكر جوان هذا لكم اخلاء اوكي لا سوشيتا دل سير عبد الله ستا كرياتا نل 2001 هانو لي باركي بر بسكاري بسكا نا مجور بارتي ادسو البشي سبادا e lo vuol dire gli squali il pesce cane e usano le pinne per esportare alle, ai paesi arabi e ai paesi asiatici e, oltre oltre pescano la ragosta e, e il pesce e il pesce che ha bisogno del mercato locale e, hanno detto che hanno bisogno di anche loro di conoscenze tecniche in, come si dice come come crea, progredire la loro, la loro società come insegnare a pescare di più e le varie tecniche di pesca. Grazie per questa opportunità. Cogliamo e proponiamo, proponiamo il bisogno di, di, di aiuto. I think we can go ahead. And uh, thank, yes. you very much to, thank you very much to all of you. Uh, I, I would like to, to leave the questions to private negotiations. So, Uh, if, they, if someone of you have uh, some specific question regarding uh, the business, regarding potential partnerships, uh, I think we can, uh, you can uh, send uh, a private email or uh, a phone call to the Italian companies because I will share um, by this afternoon the list of the Somali companies as well as the list of the Italian companies that are joining the, the seminar. So you can, uh, you can interact uh, starting from this afternoon, but to tomorrow and the, the days uh, to come. I can ask you to put me in carbon copy, me and the team, Najib, Sidki, all the team in Somalia, as we can monitor the negotiations uh, during the further months. 
I will keep you updated about uh, further events on this sector, also other sectors uh, we will organize uh, in, uh, after the summer, so I think October, November. And uh, obviously we will be done for, uh, for further evolutions. Igor, if you have other comments, otherwise we can, we can close. Thank you, Francesco. Well, Thank you also for everybody that attended today's uh, seminar. Um, I hope it was uh, uh, met the expectations that both the Somali company and the Italian company had in this type of event. Uh, for any feedback, uh, uh, we are available also to correct the line. This is, a, in a way, also a pilot, and uh, we, will, we also got, got some learning out of this first uh, seminar in order to make it even better in the future given that probably for the foreseeable future, as I said in my intervention at the beginning, this will probably be the new normal of uh, engaging between uh, foreign companies and the Somali companies and vice versa. Um, we are here to support Francesco from the Italian side, um, my, myself and the team in Somalia from the Somali side, particularly with the entire team of the EDUs uh, that is soon to be expanded, as I mentioned earlier, also covering uh, Belatuen uh, on top of already operation in Mogadishu, Kizimai and Baidoa. Um, we will probably do more of these events, uh, maybe as well in the fishery sector, but also in other sectors like uh, uh, in the area of agriculture, particularly in livestock, that uh, we have uh, registered some demand. Um, for that moment, I'd like to thank you again, everyone. Thank you also the team and uh, all the companies that attended this event. and. Uh, the Chamber of Commerce and the Minister of Commerce and Industry that supported the initiative. Thank you again and thank you, Francesco, for all the guidance. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. So let's keep in touch and a good afternoon to everyone. Bye bye. Thank you.